Hey, what's up guys, Alan with Sonic Electronics and we're here at the Amp Dyna. We got something special today. This is by JL Audio and this is their new MHX 280-4 four channel marine amplifier. Um, this amplifier can be used pretty much in any configuration, but it's really specifically designed more for power sports, uh, boats, jet skis, etc. The amplifier is IPX6, uh, which means it's uh, water resistant. And uh, we're gonna put it through the test and we're gonna see if it lives up to what it's supposed to do. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the box and uh, see what, uh, what numbers the manufacturer claims here. So, uh, manufacturer states at 14.4 volts uh, at two ohms a channel, uh, we should expect 70 watts. At four ohms, uh, we should expect 50 watts. And bridged at four ohms, we should expect 140 by two and um you know let's get started jail audio has uh, always been known for uh giving true power specs on all their amplifiers um if not they will actually produce more power than what they say they do so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do those tests and uh, see what the results are that we come up with All right guys, so the results are in and definitely a very impressive amplifier. One thing I wanna make a quick note on is on the outside of the box, GL Audio doesn't make reference to um, their typical three ohm um, impedance that they give you uh, the rated power at. However, in the owner's manual, it does. Uh, our amp dyno doesn't actually have a, um, a three ohm load uh, to do, but it actually gives us a two point six seven ohm so that's obviously going to be the closest we could get in regards to what completely and utterly impressive for such a small amplifier uh, so let's go over the results uh, for the uh, m hx uh, 280 slash 4. so we did certified and dynamic which you guys know you see us do all the time so uh, jail audio claims 50 watts at four and we got 70 watts at 14.21 volts uh, certified dynamic 68 watts at 14.2 definitely outperformed their number um, at the 2.67 uh, which was the closest we could get to their 3 ohm uh, they rated at 64 watts we got 97 watts certified and 96 uh, dynamic and um, at 2 ohms uh, JL Audi rates it at 70 we got 122 and 121 and of course we definitely had to bridge it for you so we could see what we can get uh, four ohms bridge, they claim 140 by two, and we actually got 185 by two certified and 208 dynamic. So definitely uh, a powerhouse for such a small amplifier. Uh, we're gonna dyno another video uh, in a minute here. We'll have the link for it in the description, and that's gonna be on the JL Audio HX300 slash one, which this is the exact same form factor size as the MHX280 slash four. You can get this one in a marine version as well, and they also have the non-marine uh, HX280-4, so we're gonna go ahead and do the video on that next. Uh, but definitely check out these amplifiers. They're really versatile, really small. They can be used in a lot of different applications. Uh, both models are actually non-marine or marine are uh, water resistant as well too, which is really cool. And just to show you, um, on the bottom of the amplifiers, of course, this is the HX300-1. It's got this cool little plate here uh, that has a nice little seal, but once you unscrew it, that gives you all of your uh, bass boost, your filters, and all your switches and settings. So definitely check that out. I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> 